Oh my god. What? What am I? You're a space ninja, Harry. I'm a what? A space ninja. Sitting here wondering to myself, can I even tell a bad pun about a ninja? Sure I can. What is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is swigger that of course is lola and she is just as excited as i am to be playing league of legends on the pbe funny enough i am playing pulse fire shen which i'm very much looking forward to because my broke ass can't afford him on the normal game so i gotta go to the pbe client in order to get it but the reason that we're actually playing on the pbe is because we we're invited by this man mr captain monk who is playing on the new champion pike which could be very interesting i've seen his kit it looks disgusting um the cool thing about it, though, is that he's playing Pike in the jungle. So Pike is supposed to be a support champion, but if you see his abilities, some of his abilities work in terms of support, like his Q can actually harpoon somebody and then pull them back. Um, there's a couple things that work with him. He has a nice dash ability to get in good engage, but then his ultimate is basically like a ranged Darius kind of idea that resets execution damage. So I think that's a little bit more of a, like, top laner or mid laner or something like that but you know he's playing him as the jungler um so i'm excited to see pike in this game i went shen because i did of course want to play pulse fire shen but also to support captain monk while he's jungling with that new champion pike um i'm going up against a Jin top which is kind of interesting i don't think i've ever really faced the Jin top but the only thing i can tell you is that it's gonna hurt um, I did, of course, go for the uh, Grasp of the Undying and the Resolve Tree as my major um, bone plating conditioning and then revitalized to have my increase in shields. Um, and then I went actually a little bit different and I went uh, the Domination Tree second because I actually really like going for the uh, Sudden Impact on Shen because I do get that proc when I use my Taunt. So it kind of gives me a little bit more um, threat potential to go off of. Um, I think the one bonus that we have going up against the Jin is that um, when I do activate my W, um, he won't really do much of anything because I'm going to block out all the auto attacks. So what we're going to try to focus on doing here is that when um, we do have our W, um, trying to block out his uh, his crit, his fourth shot. Because if we can do that, then Jin really just loses out on basically all of his damage. Um, I don't know if I should be aggressive here. I think I want to be more aggressive when I hit level 3. That's kind of my idea. That's just my own personal thought. I Once again, I want to just be in this brush. Just want to let that bad boy time out or have him use it. Makes me feel just a little bit better. It's. I think that's just the main thing about facing a Jin, Really in any situation. Is just don't let him get his uh, passive on Sorry, his uh, fourth shot on you. Like as long as you can avoid that. So, you know, I missed my... Oh, God. Nope. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. I think he's going to be okay. So, that's good. I've got to be, like, wary as to where the pike is because since he's not supposed to be a jungler, I am kind of worried that he's going to be lacking a little bit in certain areas. So, I'm hoping that he's going to be okay. But, you know, it looks like he's already ganking the mid lane. Um, Jin is now here. Okay. Hi, buddy. Okay. Let's, uh... You want to talk about it? Let's use our words. Let's use our words, buddy. We don't have to fight, you know? We could just be nice and nice, calm, cool, and collected. Whoop. Okay, looks like he's just standing there. <laughs> I don't know if he maybe DC'd or what was going on there, but he, he certainly just kind of let us have that one. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, man. I'll take it. That boy wants to DC or AFK in my game? No, -uh. It looked like he was kind of typing. Because he was here, and then he walked back over that direction. Oh, my God. Minion block is so real. So, yeah. The best part about Pike um, that um, I think what Captain Monk is trying to abuse here is that um, when you're using your ultimate, uh, if you get a kill with your ultimate, the last person who got an assist... Um, gets full gold and experience for the kill. So it's not actually an assist. It's basically like I got a kill and he got a kill. 
I think that's part of his ultimate, or maybe it's just his passive or something along those lines. But it's very, very good in terms of being a, um, a person with some jungle pressure. That's why I think like his jungle isn't going to be nearly as bad as people are making it out to be. I think it's going to be pretty damn good. Damn it. Come on, buddy. You and me. Woo! So 33 to 14. I don't know where this Jin went. Please don't tell me he just like AFK'd. So I was, I was actually doing pretty well. I felt pretty confident in this game. I'm feeling good. And I actually love the look of the Pulsefire skin. Like, it just looks so sexy. Look at this. Whoop. Oh. Lovely. Okay, I once again just don't know where this guy is. So I'll just, you know, ping him as missing. Even though I wish there was a ping for, you know, guy's computer overheated. <laughs> don't know where he is. But 39 CS currently leading the board. In terms of overall farm, but it it's nothing too impressive because I basically just had a free lane. Like, nothing to brag about. But I'm basically just waiting until level 6. Which I actually have now. Am I going to need it? Now I have it. So I'm just going to kind of watch everybody to make sure that... This is now the thing, right? This is now... Now the responsibility is on me. Ooh! Jin came back. You think I'm going to let you just, like, come back into lane and have a fucking field day? No, no, no. No, 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 buddy. That's not... That ain't how Twigger rolls. <laughs> you gotta earn this. You gotta earn this stuff! Okay, I'm seeing a lot of action happening down there. I don't... I'm just going to sit here, because I don't know if they're going to need me or not. No, it's looking like nobody's really, uh... Yeah, not too much action. No, I guess the Jin is back, though. So, it's kind of upsetting that he did have that, like, DC or AFK or whatever the hell happened there. Because you never like to see that, you know? You'd, you'd rather just have a nice, fair game. Um, I got you, buddy! I think he was going to be okay... But it's also just one of those things that, like, if he if he died and I still had my ultimate available, I would feel really, really bad. <laughs> I think that's that's more my my issue there. It's like he might have lived, he might not have lived. But if I just ulti him, I know he's going to live. So that's the purpose of doing that one. At least we know he lived. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to keep on maxing my Q first. Um, just the ability that I like to max. Um, I'm trying to think here. So I'm thinking of going Sunfire Cape just because I really like it on Shen because I tend to be right in the middle of everybody. So I just like getting Sunfire Cape so that way I can just stand there and abuse everybody. And then I'm just building like full tank. Um, so probably going to get a little bit more armor than magic resistance because the only magic damage they have is that Diana. And ulting also gave me an assist. So look at that. Just free gold. Free gold into my pocket. But 63 CS to the 31 of Jin, like, we're feeling, we're feeling pretty dece. Um, so we don't have our teleport, so we can't join anybody for a fight, but I think we're just going to kind of push up. Uh, we'll get our pink ward down in the tri brush after this thing's pushed, because I don't want to be too far forward, because that spells death. I, once again, just don't know where this guy is. Like, he's just, what's he, what's he doing? What's he planning? Eh, there we go. So let's go get the pink ward down here. Just so that way we have some vision. And then let's get our other word right down here. Just so we know if we're going to get ganked. We haven't seen the Diana yet. I don't know why I just... Okay, I'm going to max my, uh, my E next because I like the additional duration. Ugh! Shit. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so I've got one more pot available. So I think I'm just going to try to push this guy up. He's not really doing a lot of damage to me. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Going back in, baby, with the pike! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing! 
That's what you're gonna do. Absolutely nothing. So that was just perfect. We made a pretty nice escape. We did a very embarrassing blast cone. I can fully admit that was just... Don't look at me. <laughs> but other than that, um, Pike just coming in at the exact right time. Victor was there as well. We basically just got to re-engage on them. And did everything that we needed to. Um, I did a bit of damage. The Pike did an insane amount of damage, I felt. That did not seem very kosher. Okay, so I feel like I just want to clear up these minions. You know, actually, this is going to come back into my tower pretty well. So I think I'm actually just going to go B. Because I can get my bummies cinder. Look at how strong I am. And then let's just get a couple more pots. Just because I'm taking a little bit of poke. But in all honesty, it's just one of those, like... I don't think Jin's going to really hurt me all that much. Oh, he missed his tornado. How you going to act, buddy? I got my... Oh. Oh, baby. Yeah? That's what I thought. It's exactly what I thought. <laughs> Man, so that just worked out perfectly. Like, the cool part about, um, like, Shen and Pike right now is that Pike, of course, gets his gray health from his, uh, I think it's his passive. Um, so when he enters a brush, he starts regaining that health back. So we can bait so well that, like, he's taking a bunch of damage, but then he regens a little bit while he's uh, going into the brush. And then he comes back out of it with a Shen ultimate on him. And there's just, like, nothing that they can do, right? It's just so much additional health. So that was perfect. We're 0-0-6. Zero, zero, and six. In all honesty, this is, like, the perfect Shen game. You know, we don't need kills. We need Pike to get fed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get Pike fed. Okay. That's exactly what we're looking to do. Just every time we can, let's just do additional damage to uh, to the Jin. I feel like we're going to need some cooldown reduction at some point, though. The unfortunate thing now is that now that we're, like, building the, um, the Bombies Cinder, we just push so much. And I guess it's not really, like, a horrible thing to be pushing. But it's one of those, like, if I wanted to taunt him and get a little bit more damage on him... You think your puny little auto attacks hurt me, Shen, of all people? No. No, they do not. Okay, I think I'm gonna go B here. Man, I really. Maybe he's gonna be stupid, though. He can see my sword, can he? Hi, friend. Oh, the flash. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Can't he see my sword? Like, wouldn't he have known that I was, like, pretty close? So just like that. That's exactly what I did. I kind of came back in, went to my sword, procced my W, and I just blocked his entire fourth shot. So if he's not hitting his fourth shot, like, he's pretty much screwed. Like, he won't do any damage to me. Like, right now he just doesn't do any damage to me. Which I love. It's just one of the things that I love. If I can totally shut down an enemy champ, I will do it. Makes me feel comfortable. Makes me feel like a, a pretty young lady. Ugh, there we go. So 108 CS right now, dominating the competition. 0, 0, and 6. But you can see what good CS... It, like, why can't I do this in normal games? Right? That's, that's what gets me, you know? I'm just going to wait the couple gold here. I don't have ulti, folks. I do not have ulti. I do have TP, but I don't have ulti. So, man, it's already 11 to 1. That's kind of depressing. I just got to say, what is this? You, oh. The, the Scuttle Crab looked a little bit different to me. Okay, well, I see Diana. I feel like I could probably take both of them if Diana were to gank top. I don't think I'm overly concerned. I'm pretty damn tanky, right? And I've got armor from the Sunfire Cape. And I've got uh, magic resistance from my Merc Treads. Hello, friendo. How did that miss? Like, are you still? Just don't want to let that guy go, huh? Just don't want to let the uh, let the little little engage go. Still want to come at me? You can come at me, bro. I'm cool with that. There 
we go. So I knew he didn't have flash, so it was a pretty easy engage for me. Like, he might have had ghost. I'm surprised he didn't actually ghost. Oh, gotcha. Get me in there! Why didn't you get me in there? <laughs> Gotta get me in there, coach! Gotta get me in there, coach. It's just one of those things where it's like, if you have a Shen shield on you, like, get in there. He, she had her ultimate, too, which is kind of unfortunate, right? Like, if Kaisa just ulted in, like, I feel like we would have gotten a double kill there because I would have been able to secure my, uh, my taunt. Man, and you died anyways? Okay. I'm thinking that I actually want to go for something like a, uh... Tread carefully. Hello, friendo! Hello, friend! Oh, you're running away. What a coward! That's fine, he's gonna miss a lot of this CS. I think, like, I'm okay. Like, right now, we're just kind of, like, dominating this guy in lane. So, I'm not overly concerned about him getting a little bit of CS or shutting me out of a kill. <clears throat> no! Oh, God. Thank you. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's why you go for the Sunfire Cape. Because it makes up for all of your CSing flaws. Oh, God. Except for that one. <laughs> that, was, that was just atrocious. Okay. Let's get that guy... There we go. Okay, let's go back here. Um, he's asking for assistance for the, the Rift Herald, but eh, we don't really need the Rift Herald right now, but Jin is right there. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to build? What do we need? What do I want? Um, we could go for more armor. You know what? I'm going to go for the Frozen Mallet. I've done this build on Shen before, and especially since I'm facing, uh, like, a bunch of mobile targets. Like, look at their team. Oh, but GG, well played. There we go. We just absolutely dominated them. 1-0 in 731 CS. So we got to see the Pulse Fire Shen and also the new champion Pike in the Jungle go legendary. Hopefully you all enjoyed that video with Captain Monk and myself. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.